So I put together articles listing the top 20 to 50 players at every position in the 2022 NFL draft, including interior defensive linemen. And I have broken them down either with prospect pitches, describing what they would do best at the next level, or in this case, for the interior defensive linemen, as you can see now on the screen, I list the player, I list their size and measurements, I list the, the pros for drafting them, the cons and things they need to work on, their production from this past year and past seasons. It's all there, and it's all for free. You can just go ahead and click the link in the description. It will take you right to this article, and you can read this all for yourself. Now, I'm going to briefly cover the top 20 interior defense element in this class in this video, but if you want to get the full breakdown, I highly suggest taking time to go and check out this article for yourself. So, starting off, the guys who I think are worth first-round picks, Devontae White, Jordan Davis, and Travis Jones. Travis Jones might surprise some people, but I think he actually has more pass rush upside than Jordan Davis, and he's just as strong of an anchor and just as strong as an upper body as Jordan Davis. So those are guys I consider to be worth first-round picks. Guys who I think can be second- or third-rounders, Perry on Winfrey from Oklahoma was the MVP at the Senior Bowl, and he had a tremendous week there. He was highly miscast at Oklahoma, so his lack of production is not his fault. That's more of the program misusing him in their defensive scheme. Uh, Fideri Mathis from Alabama, a player who's not overly dynamic, but I think is still a solid starter who can play a variety of different roles. Like he can actually be a 3-4 defensive end for you as well as a defensive tackle. So he's a little bit positional versatile in this case. And he's got really good arm length as well. Fourth rounders, Ayomiya Uwazarike from Iowa State. I hope I said that name right. Uh, really good size. Solid production, actually. Nine sacks this past year, which I think gets overlooked a little bit. He's a bit of an older prospect, but he's been a solid player for Iowa State. And this is a guy who I think could be one of the steals of the draft you get to day three. Matthew Butler from Tennessee had a pretty good Shrine Bowl. Uh, solid player. He's going to be more of a pass rusher than he's going to be a run stopper for you. You can see at 297 pounds, he's a little bit undersized. Uh, but a solid player who ooh, certainly flashed quite a bit this past year. And then going from a player who's undersized to a player who's just a pure nose tackle, Neil Farrell Jr. from LSU, a two-down nose tackle, run stuffer, never going to be anything more than that. Actually had some decent uh, – pressures this past year so maybe there's some upside as a pass rusher but I don't know if you'll consistently get that at the NFL level and then John Ridgeway another nose tackle from Arkansas a guy who transferred up from a smaller school to play at Arkansas in the past couple of years and his production from small school to the, to the FBS levels actually trans, translated pretty well uh, his power really showed out the senior bowl uh, not on the same level as Travis Jones but certainly a very powerful player who is working a spin move into his game. There's upside here, but it's more building around traits and actual production at this point. And speaking of traits, when we get into the fifth round, Thomas Booker from Stanford, it's all about the traits of him. He's a versatile player, could potentially be a 3-4 defensive end, could be a defensive tackle, but you really have to build on his traits right now. He's not a complete player yet. Eric Johnson from Missouri State, a bit of an older prospect uh, from a small school, but showed up really well at the senior role. And in a class that doesn't have a very deep interior defense line set, he's going to be a pretty valued player. Yeah, Kalia Davis from UCF. I wouldn't shock be blame you if you don't know who that is. Uh, he's barely played the past couple of years. He opted out of 2020. He tore his ACL in 2021. He just has not played quite a bit. He's got one season with over 250 defensive snaps. That said, he was very good in that season. So it's kind of balancing out not seeing him quite a bit recently versus what we saw from him uh, back in 2019. Oh, Tito Ogbonia from UCLA. Uh, just a solid player. Some traits there with the arm line, but not a player that I would necessarily want to be a day one starter. More of a depth piece, and probably for his career will be a depth piece on some defense. And there, guys, in the sixth, seventh round, Curse Brooks, highly productive at Cincinnati this past year but very undersized, like 273 pounds, so he's listed at, at the NFL uh, PA College Bowl, so just very undersized. Jaden Peavy from Texas A&M, Haskell Garrett from Ohio, from Ohio State, everyone knows who that is pretty much. Noah Ellis, a nose tackle from Idaho. Mark Cohen McCall, a nose tackle from Kentucky. DJ Davidson from Arizona State. And Christopher Hinton, a guy people think could have gone back to school, but instead decided to declare for the draft. He is from Michigan. And then, of course, we got a laundry list, a long list of 
honorable mentions who can all actually probably sneak into the seventh round if they want to. Or if all I mean, all it takes is one team to believe in them. And guys like Matt uh, Henningsen have the athletic profile where they might might make that jump. And so like Niles Pinkney from Clemson and I had the college pedigree to make that jump as well. But for now, guys, that's all for the video. If you want to check out these rankings and get to read them for yourself, plus rankings for all the other position groups, you just have to check out my newsletter, which is down below in the description. There's a link to this article. And through this article, you can access the rest of my site simply by either clicking right here, or I think there'll be an icon down here as well you can click. And it'll take you right to my site. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day.